Hi, in Python, there is a powerful concept called slicing. So you can take a list or a string or a tuple and you can slice them. In these examples, I'm going to show you with list. You can apply the same on a tuple or a string. So what happens is by slicing, you can take only the relevant parts of the list and you can ignore the rest, right? So you can slice a list from anywhere to anywhere. I'll show you with examples. Syntax is going to look like this. So you are going to provide a start, stop, and a step. So starting index, ending index, and a step. And all these are optional. You need not provide them also. With examples, we'll see that. Let's go to examples. Now let us say we have a list here from A to I. Now if I write like this, list of 2 column 7, then it will start from 2 and it will not go till 7, it will go till 6. For example, in this case, 2 means 0, 1, 2, C and 7 means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it will go from C till G without going to H. That is one thing that you have to understand here. The last end, end, uh, end index, whichever you are giving, we will not go till that point. Okay. Now, if I run it, <coughs> you can see that from C till G is given as a list. So, if you want to iterate only over that part, you can use this uh, slicing and you can do that. Now, slicing can also be done using negative numbers. Now, if I write like this, minus 7 to minus 2, minus 7 is the ending one will be starting from minus 1. So, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7. So, minus 7 means C and minus 2 means minus 1, minus 2 means H. So, from C to G, it will give you everything without taking H. Okay. Got it? From C to G, it will give us everything without taking the last index and index and also you can get yeah so here the starting index is minus 2 sorry 2 which means 0 1 2 c it is going to start from c and minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 so it will go till d without going to e so now if you see that C to D. So one index is positive, other index is negative. You can use like that. And also you can specify a step. Step means in, in what steps you want to get the list. Okay. So if I write 2 to 7 in steps of 2, then it is going to start from C and in steps of 2 it will go C and then E and then G. Okay. C, E, and G. In steps of 2, it will go. Similarly, you can give negative steps. Okay. So it will start from 6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It will start from G and it will go to 1. 1 means B without touching B and it will decrement in steps of minus 2, which means from the end we are coming. Okay. So G E C from the end it is coming and it is decrementing in steps of two. Okay. Similarly, if you want to get everything, if you want to get everything till three, you can use this syntax without giving the start. If you don't give start, it will start from zero. And if you don't give end, it will go to the end. So now if I see that. Now, I have written from, from starting till D, 0, 1, 2, 3, till D, so it will go till C, from starting till C it will go, and then here I have given from 6 till N, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, from G it will go till I, from G it will go till I. Similarly, you can reverse a list just using one line of code in other programming languages it is not available so if you want to reverse a list in just one line you can do it so you can write semicolon semicolon minus one which means it is going from starting to ending 
but minus 1 means from the ending it is going to get and every step is 1 so all the elements will be printed from the end okay now let's go to the python program that we have written for snake game there let's use bleed slicing in order to simplify the code a bit so earlier we have seen this so earlier we are we are we are in this code where whenever the snake head is equal to head then we are passing we are not doing anything so if you don't want this this kind of code to be written you can use list slicing and you can simplify it further so what i mean to say is here instead of taking all the elements in the segment you can ignore the first one so you can ignore the first head and you can write it like this okay so just by writing this everything will work let's run the program and see now the program is running without any problem now let's try to touch the body when i touch the body game should end Let's grow it a bit. 